District Attorney Patsy Austin Gatson, the first African-American and woman DA in Gwinnett County, and her team are transforming justice. Championing equity and effective prosecution, they've achieved an 80% murder conviction rate and a 90% success rate in drug and gang task force cases, notably against fentanyl. Vote for a safer Gwinnett County. Paid for by the committee to re-elect Patsy Austin Gatson for district attorney. Listening to the Good Morning Gwinnett Show, hosted by Audrey Bell Kearney, bringing you your morning dose of business and technology, Monday through Thursday at 10 a.m. Be sure to subscribe now so you never miss an episode. Good morning, good morning, good morning, all my Gwinnettians out there in Gwinnett Land and all of my friends around the world. It's a chilly day here in Gwinnett County, baby. It is 20 degrees, going up to a high of 37 when I talked to my granddaughter this morning, it was 12. I'm like, oh my God, the baby has to go outside in 12 degree weather, weather. But the mother's like, she has to go to school. But anyway, it's a beautiful day nonetheless, because you know why? We are here, even though it's very cold outside and it's hump day. So you have made it to the middle, baby. You have made it to the middle. So glad to be here with you today. Listen, for you, for those of you who are listening to the show for the very first time, this is my new format. I got a, I got some interesting, um, I got an interesting comment from a, um, from a listener of the show, and she gave me some really sage advice. She's like, Audrey, um, your show's not growing because there's too much fluff. So I decided to take all of the fluff out and give you nothing but the good stuff. And I figured, you know what, I need to kind of start off with where I left off at. So I've been podcasting for since 2009, before it was this big old thing that it is right now. I teach on podcasting all the time. People always ask me to talk, I'll teach them how to start a podcast as a matter of fact, I'm I'm gonna be at Podfest next week speaking at uh, speaking about AI. As a matter of fact, and podcasting, so I'm one of the speakers at the conference. If you have not heard of Podfest, it's one of the largest podcast conferences in in the United States, probably in the world. So if you're in Orlando next week, holler at your girl because I'll be there. But um, today I want to talk about y'all know I love tech and I love AI, even though it's a little scary sometimes. I want to talk about how you can actually leverage AI to help you launch your own podcast. My reason for deciding on this topic was because I, um, I, I, you know, I, I did a thousand, over a thousand episodes and I love what I was doing, but I was doing it for me. I wasn't doing it for my audience. So I decided to switch it up. Yesterday was my first day switching up the format, but I also thought about, you know what? There are people out there right now who are saying, you know, if she's doing this, I can do it too. I just don't know what to do. I don't have the time. And I wanted to talk to you about how to leverage AI to help you get started. Now you can do this in a couple of different ways. Um, you can do your own podcast where it's just you talking, or you can leverage AI to be your podcast for you. You can clone your voice and make your podcast sound like you. So there's so many ways for you to do this. But so, so what I want to do now is just break down some things that I, that you can do to get started. So if you're thinking about starting a podcast, the first thing you want to ask yourself is why do I want to start a podcast? And the reason I say that is because if it's just a hobby, you, you're not... T- See, for me, it's business, right? As a matter of fact, if you listen to the beginning of the show, that was an ad insertion that I just popped in there because someone ordered an ad. And so um, that's playing on my show. That was that was money for me. That was revenue. So it's a business for me. The minute I change... It's, it's the craziest thing. The minute I made the decision to change the concept, something else changed in my business. So... Um, you have to think about why you're doing your podcast. Is it for business purposes or is it just for a hobby or is it just for entertainment for you? In the beginning, it was for my mindset said my podcast was for business, right? It was for business. But my heart was saying it's for me because I want to play music. I want to do all these things that nobody cared about. And so I'm not saying they didn't care about it. It was just the wrong platform. I was trying to run my podcast like a radio show, and I still could, really. I really could probably still run my podcast. I probably could have came up with a different model for how the podcast is going to be laid out, but I decided not to do that. I decided that, you know what, I want a media company. I run a media company, and I want my podcast to just, you know, be like the the, the one of the best out there. So I had to change the format. So why are you starting your podcast? That's the first thing you want to ask yourself. Two, you want to ask yourself, is it a live podcast or are you going to record it and upload it? That's important because when you do live like I do, which my show is live four days a week, it's a, it's a little bit more pressure for some people. For me, it's a lot less pressure because I don't have to deal with, with editing, right? You get what you get with me. This is a live show. I'm on here live. I'm talking. I have more energy. So for me to do a live show is more energy. For some people, they like recorded stuff, right? 
You have to ask yourself, is it going to be a video show or an audio show? Because that matters. I was going to turn this into an all video show. And I was like, man, do I really want to get up every day putting on makeup and hair and all that stuff? I don't. And it's going to, it's going to strain me. It's going to make me not want to do the show. So even though I've changed the format, I decided, you know what? I, I like audio. This is where I, this is where I am. I like audio. So you have to decide whether or not your show is going to be audio or video. Now keep in mind, if you're going to do video, you want to make sure that your surroundings are good. The lighting is great. See, it's a lot more to go into a video show. Sometimes I, I'm on I'm on shows, if, even when I co-host, like I have a show that I co-host with a pastor, and sometimes my lighting is excellent. Other times, I'm like, what is wrong with my light? So I'm over there fumbling with my ring light. So all, but And it could be just the way the, the light is coming in from the window or not, or it could be like the lighting. Is, it's a whole lot that goes into it, but for some strange reason, the lighting is not always the same. So then I had the ring light, then I had to turn on the side light because the lighting is not good. But here's the problem. Her show is live as well. So if the lighting is not good when we go live, I can't drop out of the frame to fix the lighting. I have to just roll with the way the lighting is set up. So keep that in mind. I'm not saying don't do video. I'm just saying keep all these things in mind. All right. And I'm going to get on to the AI part, but I just want to give you some some rationale for you, to, some things for you to think about why do you want to start a podcast in the first beginning. The second thing is how frequently are you going to podcast? Now, to have a successful podcast, and this is for most people, you need to podcast at least four times a month, at least. There are some people who have really big audiences already. They do a podcast once a month, but they've already created that audience. It's not like they, you know, they started the day and said, I'm just going to do this once a month and my audience is going to grow to like 10,000. 10, that's, that's not how it works. They already had an audience. They brought the audience with them and then they started the podcast. If you're starting from scratch with no audience, you should be doing the podcast at least four times a month, once a week, however you want to do it. Now, if you are going to, if you're going to record the, your podcast, you can sit down on a Sunday afternoon or a Friday morning or whatever it is and do all four episodes and schedule them to go out. That's a simple way of doing it. You batch everything together in one setting. You create all the content. You, you do the podcast. You schedule them to go out on the days they're supposed to go out at the same time. I get up every morning, Monday through Thursday, and I go live at 10 o'clock. That's my time. Um, I like the four days a week frequency. It makes sense for me. Now I'm going to attach that to a newsletter. So you have to figure out what makes sense for you. That's what I'm saying. So you have to figure out if... It, if you if you think I'm only gonna do one day a week, eh, you may not one day a month. You may want to rethink that unless you bring in an audience because it's gonna be hard for the people to to get to know you because if you're only coming on once a month and you don't already have an audience that you're speaking to somewhere else, they're gonna listen to you one time and forget all about you because it's too much time in between the next episode. So think about that part. You got to be consistent. You got to be, you have got to have more frequency if you don't have an audience. If you have an audience, then do once a month. If you don't have an audience, you should be at least doing four, day, four, uh, four days a month. All right. Now, people ask me this question all the time. Audrey, how long should the podcast be? It should be as long as it's going to take you to get your, get your information across. Now, listen, for me, my show ran an hour a day almost, right? Somewhere between 50 minutes and an hour. That's because I played music. I gave local news. I did all of that stuff, which is great. And I may at some point go back to like that format, like one podcast episode a week or something. Maybe I do a rundown on Sunday or something. I don't know. There's all news about Gwinnett. I may do that. But right now, Monday through Thursday, I had all this other information in between. So it ran for an hour. Your podcast does not have to be that. There are podcasts out there that are 60 seconds long. You would be surprised how much content you could fit within 60 seconds. You can fit a lot. But then there are other podcasts that's five minutes, five-minute Monday, five-minute marketing. You can have a five-minute podcast. The, the, the key here is to have the, the information that people want. That's the key, right? The key is having information that people want that they're going to listen to that's going to help them. Yeah, because your podcast, your five minutes that you're talking, it solves a problem. Let me say that again. They're going to listen to you because the five minutes that you're talking, it solves a problem. So it doesn't have to be 45 minutes. It doesn't have to be an hour. It's going to be, this show probably won't ever be an hour anymore because I took out all the music. I took out all the fluff. So now it's going to be probably a shorter, more compact show. And I'm cool with that because as long as I'm serving my people, the girl said, you know what? It will be better, but it takes, it's too much fluff. I took all the fluff out. There's no fluff. So you got to think about that part. How long do you want it to be? And that's really up to you. Don't put fluff in. 
Learn from my lesson. 1,045 episodes full of fluff. Did not grow. Episode 40, 1,046, no fluff. Episode, one, episode 1,047, no fluff. Don't add in fluff. They want, the, they want the facts. So forget the fluff, all right? And then the last thing, and we're gonna, this is going to lead right into AI, is do you want to be the one doing the, doing the podcast every, every, every week, every day, whatever it is, or do you want to let AI do it? Now, two things, two ways for you to do this. You can figure out whether or not you want to use your voice, right? Which you can use AI to clone your voice and then put the, and create the content and use the AI to clone your voice and then read all the content. You can do that. Now they got some great tools out there right now. They got, I use 11 labs to create voices. My voice is not cloned because I don't like, so I cloned it. I didn't like the way, like the way it sounds. I'm like, "Ah, I don't like the way I sound. So I didn't like the clone voice. Some people have cloned their voice. It sounds just like them. Like you've probably been on TikTok and you see these Joe Rogan pictures and you hear his voice and it's really not him. It's his picture. His mouth is moving, but the voice you hear is AI. His AI voice clone is excellent. I didn't like the way mine sounds. So plus I wanted mine to, I want to give like energy, right? So I wanted you to feel me through the podcast, but if you don't have time to do that and you want to actually you know, use your own voice. You can use your own voice as a clone, clone your voice. Once you clone your voice, then you can put your, your AI content, the the content that you've created into the, into an AI creator. And then the voice says everything. I use 11 labs. Now that's, that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to use an AI voice, not your voice, but an AI voice. They have some amazing AI voices out there. As a matter of fact, the intro to this new show is an AI voice. His name is Terrell. I like Terrell's voice. I'm like, I'm going to use Terrell's voice. His name is Terrell. He's my AI voice. And I was like, you know what? I don't like my voice, but I like Terrell's voice. I'm going to use Terrell's voice for my, for my intro. So I created the intro using, using, using AI. Now you may say, you know what, I'm going to use my own voice. Then go for it because that's what I do. Terrell does my intro, but I do my own show because I need to be able to get, I need to be able to give you the energy that 